Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. So, if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video I'm going to take a Unify Home Network and show you guys how to change the LAN IP address and set a couple of static IPs for some of the devices on that network. Alright guys, I did a recent video on how to build a Unify Home Network from scratch. So today we're going to tweak that network starting with the USG. We'll change the LAN IP address of the USG and then we'll restart the Unify switch, the cloud key and the UAP AC light so that these devices obtain addresses in the new DHCP range. And then after that, we will assign static IPs to the Unify switch and the Unify cloud key. So let's get started with this process. All right, so I'm signed into the Unify controller and the cloud key. And the first thing we're going to do is change that IP address on the USG. So let's get started by hitting the settings icon down in the lower left hand corner of the screen. And in the menu, let's go up to networks. And you can see the LAN, the corporate LAN that we have here that was created in the recent video. Let's click on the edit button. And we're just going to change the IP here from 192.168.1.1 slash 24 to 192.168.100.1 slash 24. And then I'll say update DHCP range. So now it's updated the range and I'm going to leave that range alone for the purpose of this video. On the name servers, I'm going to change it to 192.168.100.1. And then we'll just give it a public DNS server. And we'll go ahead and say save. All right, so after we applied and saved the changes to the USG, we lost connectivity, which is to be expected. So I took that opportunity to restart the Unify switch, the cloud key, and the UAP AC light so that they obtain new addresses from the new DHCP range. So you can see here I'm at the controller and the cloud key login screen and the cloud key has a new address of 192.168.100.9 but I want to change that to 192.168.100.2 so we're going to do that by coming down to Unify cloud key and we're going to click on the configure button and we'll sign in. We'll come over to the menu and we'll click on configuration. We'll come to network settings and we're going to change it from DHCP to static. And we're just going to change it from 100.9 to 100.2. Everything else can stay the same. We'll come down and say apply changes. And now we have to access the cloud key from the new address. So we'll come up here and we'll just change it to .2. And we get the, your connection is not private. That's okay. We'll say advanced and proceed to 192.168.100.2. And there you go. We're back at the sign-in screen. So now let's go into the Unify controller. And let's take a look at the devices. Okay, so we have the USG at 192.168.100.1. We have the Unify switch at 192.168.100.7 and the UAP AC light at 100.6. So the final thing we're going to do for this video is change the IP address of the Unify switch 860 watt from 192.168.100.7 to 192.168.100.3. So to do this, start by clicking on the device itself. And in the pane on the right, click on Config. And then Expand Network. And then where it says Using DHCP, we're going to change that to Static IP. 
and we're going to change it to dot 100 dot three subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 the gateway will be 100.1 the preferred DNS will be 100.1 and the alternate DNS will be public we'll say Q changes and apply changes and now you can see that the Unify Switch 8 is provisioning and there you go guys Unify Switch is now connected and you can see the IP address is 192.168.100.3 so that about wraps it up for today guys a few simple tweaks to the Unify home network in the next video, we'll look at tweaking the guest Wi-Fi that was created in the original video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.